Well, welcome back, everybody. We're 46 minutes past the hour on your Monday. We've got a great start to our Monday morning. The sun is starting to rise, giving us a beautiful sunrise, a lot of colors in the sky, especially in Decatur and Philadelphia. Philadelphia has some pinks in the background. Decatur had some oranges and yellows as well, but like I said, a pretty good start to our Monday morning and those temperatures right now in the mid to upper 60s, even right at that 70 degree mark. So definitely a warm start to our day. But when you're getting those kids ready for school, right now those temperatures still in the mid 60s. But for this afternoon, we're starting to see an increase in cloud coverage as those temperatures reach back into the lower 90s once again, unfortunately. But there is going to be a change in pace coming later this week. Now for this evening, temperatures still in the upper 90s around 5 p.m. But as you head into the later part of the evening by 7 p.m., we're starting to drop into the lower 80s, reaching 80 degrees by 8 p.m. Now, like I mentioned just a few seconds ago, we've got a change in pace coming to our forecast in the next couple of days. Tuesday, which is tomorrow, still the same with temperatures in the lower 90s and a lot of sunshine. However, Wednesday and Thursday, we've got showers moving into the area and those temperatures are dropping as well. We love to see those lower temperatures. It's finally starting to feel like fall just a little bit, but we've got rain coming in as well. Just got to balance it out. So timing those showers out for you at 11 p.m. on Tuesday. Some scattered showers across the central part of Mississippi, not bringing too heavy of rainfall, but Wednesday, by those early morning hours heading into 8, 9, and 10 a.m., that's where we've got a line of heavy showers moving across our area. That's because this is a cold front, so that's why you're seeing those temperatures drop as well, but that brings us this heavy line of showers continuing throughout Wednesday afternoon. We've got some scattered showers from that Wednesday overnight heading into Thursday, and that's going to be the picture for Thursday as well. Now, those showers are definitely needed. Taking a look at the drought monitor that was released last Thursday, we've got some improvement in Mississippi, especially that south central part of Mississippi, no longer in a drought, but more rain is definitely needed to get us in the clear. And Alabama's drought has gotten better as well, but they definitely still need a lot of rain as well to get out of that official drought. Now, taking a step back from Mississippi into the tropics, so we've got a lot of activity going on and we're still in peak hurricane season, so we can't be too surprised, but this main area of concern is going to be that area in the Caribbean Sea and heading into the Gulf of Mexico. It's got a 70% chance to develop into a cyclone within the next two days, and it is expected to become a potential tropical cyclone later this afternoon. And then we've also got this area that's off the coast of Africa, got a 70% chance to develop within the next seven days. Now, speaking of seven days, here's your seven day forecast. We've got sunshine still in the picture for today and tomorrow. But Wednesday, moving into Friday, showers in and out of the picture for the next couple of days, but brings our temperatures down and then our weekend looking pretty good. Now looking at that Johnson Dodge camera now.